What's up, everybody? This is Anomaly. Happy Wednesday. Happy Hump Day to all. Um, I guess let's just do, like, we're going to see what kind of storm um, you're going through, Capricorn. And um, then we're going to see what what spirits, guidance is um, for the situation, okay? All right, so you guys have the death card off top. I think that's Scorpio energy. Some type of transformation. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a loss. Maybe an understanding of self. The Five of Cups. Upright. Oh, you got two more cards that came out. You have the Hermit Virgo energy. And Judgment. Okay, so... Um, I think there's some type of truth that you're facing, Capricorn, or that you're coming into some type of understanding with the Five of Cups and the Death card here. And it's kind of like an understanding that you, you're you not going to be able to basically run away from. I also see, too, that somewhere in here you've made a decision about something um, that maybe you haven't told anyone else about. Or I wouldn't say that you're working on it. I feel like you're kind of birthing this decision to take off. Um, so with the Judgment card here. Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck, the Tower card, and the Seven of Cups. It seems like you went through some type of um, big situation where something may have fallen apart heavily, or it could have been very, like, disastrous, argumentative. Um, it could have also felt like a lot of things around you may have been dying and whatnot, like trees or um, plants and flowers and stuff. Um, but it looks like through that tower, you were able to build and create other options for yourself. Now, even though it looks like you're facing these options, someone in this, these, the, the seven of cups here, you know what I'm saying? They, they're, they're, it's like your fresh start or their fresh start kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a fresh new beginning. This could be about loving oneself because I do see the two of cups here and three cups falling over, but the two of cups has nature surrounding it you know and all of this is is behind her basically like if you look here the trees the insects the dogs and stuff and her two cups are up top but then out here these cups are spilled over and although she is sad it's almost like you have your your angels and your team working with you to essentially you know what i'm saying help you kind of get through this what is important for um what is this death or this um Either it's a loss or it's like a transformation that's coming in or that Capricorn is going through currently. What is this? Okay, you guys got two cards. All right, it's something from the past with the Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords. So you guys are contemplating something from your, you know, from a past experience. And it might be bringing, this could be bringing out a lot of emotions with this Knight of Swords here. Um, a lot of conversation. Let's see on the bottom of the deck as you guys talk this out. It could be with your parent or it could be with your child almost. There's some type of balance that comes into play with this temperance energy of the Sagittarius. Followed by the Page of Cups, a newfound way for someone to, you know what I'm saying, express or show their love, give their gratitude, um, give their care. And then the Eight of Swords, it could be for that, you know what I'm saying, for how they think in their mind. So maybe you guys are learning how to be gentle with your mind. You know what I'm saying? And not take things so heavily or so hard. You're learning how to de-stress. How to not allow certain things to get the best of you. Yeah. I've been patient. One card here for the death and the five of cups. The three of wands. You going through this transformation and this understanding... And allowing your your body to just calm down and to just take everything in and process it, it allows for you to build something stable. And even if you don't have other people helping you build this with these three of wands, some of you can have animals. Like I said, nature is here for you. You might think that it's just you out here working hard, but your angels and your team and spirits are working around you. Nature is helping you in some type of way to give 444. Five of Cups and the Hermit.
the seven of swords so maybe you're going back and forth with this individual about this because you want to have a more stable connection um something that is is you know what i'm saying worth the worth the process worth to keep building on but something about this energy you know what i'm saying when you're talking it could not be right it could be slightly deceptive maybe you don't you feel that your own thoughts are deceptive you know um let's see what is this seven of swords as far as the seven of swords and the hermit and the five of cups it's temperance the magician the reverse and strength see when you keep trying to manifest or you keep trying to do things and they're not working out and you're not looking at yourself and saying hey what's going on with me what do i need to change or what do what do i need to upgrade you know, how can I, you know, re-manifest this plan? When you don't keep doing that, you're always, it's like you're going to keep doing the most and not getting the results that you want with this in the reverse. If you don't allow your team and accept the fact that your team is here to help you or that your spiritual guides are here for you and assisting you on this process, you're never going to be able to do this. You can't be the magician. How can if you two ah ah like you you can't manifest what are you manifesting? Boom boom boom. That's right. What are you manifesting? Let's see. The hermit of judgment. Yeah. When you allow them to help you or work with you, you come up with the most ideas, probably the most prosperous ones, the most creative, the most like innovative ideas that could happen. And it could bring you a lot of different successes as well as the community around you and those above who are assisting you, right? So you're making, you, you if, if you allow them to assist you, this is what can happen. It'll be easier for you to make decisions. It's gonna be easier for you to use discernment. It's gonna be easier for you to move around and do this, this, that, and the third, seven, seventeen. But you're scared of it. You want to build solid ground. You want to have a solid foundation. But you don't want to work with the energy that's been given to you. And again, now I'm looking at this like the hermit with the judgment and the wheel of fortune are all major arcanas. This is all what you're scared of, though. All of this is behind the smoke over here, the mystic. So are you scared in, that that of, of mystic? or metaphysical or the universal understandings that we have that don't just meet standard, you know, society understandings today. Is that what that is? What's going to happen if Capricorn energy chooses to remain resistant to this energy coming from the above? Remember how I said that energy? It's like with this six of wands. Yeah, you keep moving forward. Maybe you're a brute with it. Maybe you're honest with it. I don't know. Maybe you bring the fire with you and it makes you feel successful being that lion and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you're making it harder for this for your angels to come through and, and help you release this. So while you're doing all this, you're putting burdens on other people and then you're you're, you're going to be faced with people coming to you. Hey, can you help me? Can you do this for me? Da, 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 da. But all you got is fire energy, and it's just kind of like, how can you help anyone? So it's like I, 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 I'm sensing that you guys are learning how to calm down, speak when necessary, walk away when needed. Um, what is important for Capricorn to take from this reading? Okay, cool. You have the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Swords. <sighs> it's almost like you could be the King of Pentacles, right? Earth Energy. And you have all this stuff to give. 
or you could make it to this level, right? You could be able to take care of your home, maintain a career, um, be robust in your income and what you produce and create. But it's like you're not going to really be able to share that with nobody if, if you don't make that connection with the above. Because you don't really get this if that's not there. See, people think, oh, this is my money. I earned it. This is mine, 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 mine. Nothing is yours at all. Not even the host of the body that your spirit lives in is yours. That money that you're making or that income or that abundance or those bills that, you know, just as that part right there. That's money that the above knows that you're capable of creating and receiving and giving. But it's not yours. Money's not even real when you think about it. It's not a real thing. When, when this was all created and made, money was not a part of the equation. This is something that, that humans made up, right? It's, it's not even real. Then when you look at, I think what's the book called? You Can Heal Yourself. Yeah, maybe think about that book. You can heal yourself. In that book, it talks about how people get upset about getting bills and, and statements and invoices in their mailbox. But on the brighter side, if you were being more optimistic about it, you will feel good because technically those bills are coming to you because the Most High knows that you're a person who can take care of your responsibilities. You're a person who can... Um, make sure that everything is in order, everything is in line, and everything is taken care of. So you, when you receive those those bills and whatnot, it's kind of like when our kids are showing us that they're following the rules or that they're taking in everything that we're teaching them or that they're learning, you know what I'm saying, from their environments with their teachers and stuff and, and becoming a better person. They, they're showing it back to us by their actions and what they do, and that's a form of showing us like giving us confirmation that those things um that that the child is growing that's the same thing here with with your bills and stuff people who don't have bills well what are they doing they 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 sipping on something but it ain't life right they running they escaping they keep going things like that and then the people who got bills what do they do they level up it might be in slow small increments but they do keep leveling up so don't look at yourself as like, dang, if I go and take that route, you know, am I messing myself up? Sometimes you have to jump into the unknown, but don't jump into the unknown that you really don't know nothing about. If you could turn around and think about the different times where you felt that you was going to lose everything or that you had nothing and how out of nowhere, some type of, um, I want to say abundance, but some, some type of miracle happened. That was not you. You know what I'm saying? That's this energy over here, this hermit with the judgment, with the will of fortune. That's them. Even in this, it's like this, this, this angel literally facing the seven of swords is throwing a ball over there. Like, hey, catch this. We already got this together for you over here. You just got to carry out this part down there on the physical side. And then when you do that, this is how you start to build and start to create. This will, or, or, or when we throw you this and you take it on the physical side, this will, you'll start to see more of, uh, uh, of your plants growing and blossoming, or you might see more animals coming towards you, or you might take notice of the wind or the sun and different things, but just know that those things are all preparing and putting in place to start the foundation of what you've already, you know, started to have your fresh start in. Two of wands on the bottom of the deck, three of pentacles and the ten of cups. Seriously, if you choose to work with your team, this could be you amongst two or three other people that you know. If you stay prayed up, if you stay planting your seeds with them and allow them to assist you and create that stability, um, that's that emotional stability. Because right now, this is emotional stability. You got to be emotionally stable to be able to create. You can't be no ten of cups in the reverse and have the three of pentacles upright. You're going to drown whatever it is that you put in, in the ground. You can't even put that on, on two of pentacles. You can't do that. That's too much water and not enough seed or earth. You know what I'm saying? No. But in the upright, they know how much to give. 
how much you need to release and pour out increments different time frames and these things help to block off that excess fiery energy that's unnecessary that you don't need in your life one card for advice Okay, you guys got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The World card. You guys got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the World card, and the Four of Wands. It's almost like it's weird. Like, it's like... Remember, I said that you would drown something if it was in the reverse. You see how the world card, she's pouring all this water down out here. That Ace of Pentacles is not growing. It's growing into the ground, not out of the ground. So if you don't choose to take your fresh start or choose to seize the day or seize the moment of this new opportunity, is you won't be able to, you know, these connections, like these are highlighted by this wand here, like, your household, something about your household may come, you know, into full circle. Or um, it could be about, like I said, plants or things surrounding you and how they blossom and they bloom and, and you guys are in sync. This could be about commitments and unions and whatnot that are solid. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it, it's just definitely just think about how you're going through things and, 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 and being positive with yourself. You have the Three of Swords, you have the Moon, and you have the Queen of Swords. And then you have the, the, the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Just be gentle. Some of y'all may or may not listen to what I'm saying. I hope you do. Be gentle with your mind and allow that ease of that devil energy of being scared of this other part of you that wants to join you. Again, know about what you're getting into before you get into something. But once you guys start working together, it's almost like with this Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Wands, yeah, like you, you start to see, you know, you start to see yourself for who you really are as well as others. And two, maybe some of your gifts start to come out. Maybe y'all see something as far as it pertains to your children as well. So it's like, you know what I'm saying, some type of creative understanding maybe a burst of energy within you because you have that clarity now about what's going on over here and you like i said you're going to feel like a powerhouse all right thank you cap appreciate you please like share and comment